Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of videos. Today I want to show you a really interesting position. This one comes from the 1978 game Stefano Tatai versus Viktor Korchnoi, a very famous uh, chess grandmaster challenger for the World Chess Championship. Now, in this position it is black to play. White has just played the move knight b to d2. He hasn't had a great time in the opening as you can see black has got some very active pieces. So in response to this white is looking to try and maybe get his knight over to the king side to help defend this position. But is it all a bit too late here? It's now black to move. See if you can find the move that Victor Korch and I play to really drive home his advantage against white. Okay, so the move here is the really stunning move and this left a huge impression on me as a chess player a few years ago when I first saw this game. It is the move queen to g3. I really like this move, taking advantage of this pin on f2. Now, the threat is quite simple. Bishop takes on h3, taking advantage of this pin pawn to the king. So it's really, really difficult uh, to play against this. And white needs to play something really, really strong to try and counter this. But there really isn't anything out here. Let's have a look at a few options. The first option you might have maybe thought about is what about maybe king to h1, maybe getting out of this pin. The problem with this is now bishop takes on f2, and well, black has got a very nice edge in this position. If this knight were to maybe come over here to maybe threaten this bishop, absolutely fine here. Black can tuck his bishop back to b6 and then think about jumping his knight into this f2 square. This is a really, really dominant position for black now. Going back to our initial position then, so what else could uh, white play in this position? Well, another move that could also be tried is maybe putting the knight onto b3 and then hitting this bishop. The problem with this is, well, now white can crash in on h3. This is where the other threat of this bishop comes in place. And now, well, there's this, the threat here is very simple. There's actually a forced mate at this point. White's only way to defend this pawn is to retreat his knight back to e1. After this, we can take this knight on e1. This is a very nice, def uh, very nice removing the defender tactic. And while well, there's nothing here that white can do, he can't move this pawn forward to get the queen to defend because obviously this bishop is defending over here. So what does white do in this position? Well, going back here, his opponent decided to play the move bishop to f5, which seems like a nice idea. At least it parries this threat um, of this bishop taking here on h2. The problem with this now, now though, is that Victor Korchner finds another amazing move. See if you can find this move. This is also really difficult to find, but a really good instructive move. Here he plays the move rook to e2, a fantastic move. Now black has got three pieces attacking this pawn, and now it also ties down this knight. So this knight is essentially blocking out all of white's pieces from defending here in this game. And while there's nothing here that white can do, white in the actual game decides to play the move knight to d4 um, in some attempt to try and block out this bishop. But after knight captures here, in actual fact, at this point, uh, white in fact resigns. The reason why, I mean, I'll go through some example lines. Let's say f takes on g3. Well, you can just take this knight, you get some change. This comes with a discovered attack over here. So, of course... That can't happen, and after, let's say, something like, I don't know, C takes on D4, then we can just take this pawn, and we're still threatening this king here. Very nice position, a very strong attack from Victor, the terrible Victor Korshnoi, delivering a very good uh, win in this position. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you see, make sure you leave a like at the end of this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, leave a comment below if you enjoyed this particular puzzle. Take care. Bye-bye.